to the common security defense policy, the European Union decides to deploy crisis management missions and use military and civilian resources to contribute to implementing the broader goals of that policy. Why should the European Union consider extending its common security and defense policy from conflict prevention to a security actor by not treating the invasion of Ukraine in isolation despite the country is not an EU state. And I'm putting my question in this context because I was thinking as a European Union citizen that we do not have to go through such crises at our borders to take a more decisive action towards such policies. Very good, very good question again. Uh, very interesting. You give me the opportunity now to clarify the huge difference between NATO, which is a purely military organization, an alliance, and the European Union, which is a primarily political and economic entity. So yes, we would love to have something more robust regarding defense, but we have to underline that since most of the European Union member states are also members of NATO, they rely on the Article 5 of the uh, Alliance, which is the collective defense. They rely on that for their security. What I mean is that, for example, if there's an attack on one NATO member, the others are obliged by the treaty to defend that member. Now, when it comes to the European Union, who aspires to be a security provider for the members, for the member states and abroad, the Treaty of the European Union, for the first time, and I'm talking about the Lisbon Treaty, in the Article 42-7, clearly states that similarly to Article 5, the European Union member states should, and again, should contribute to the defense of a one member state under attack. However, this is an asterisk. In the second paragraph of the same article, it states that without prejudice to the NATO commitments of these member states. Now, this could be interpreted in various ways, and I, won't, I will not elaborate further on that. I would also like to underline that apart from the external borders, the Treaty of the Function of the European Union, the TFEU, in the Article 222, there is the Solidarity Clause. What does it mean? If there is a catastrophe in a country, name it the fire, wildfire, uh, a flood, a, uh, an attack, terrorist attack, then the other member state should, and again I underline, should send, uh, provide assistance and contribute. So. Regarding defense, NATO. Regarding internal issues, the European Union. I'm not sure if I covered your question, but for going towards a strategic autonomy of the European Union, we have to keep in mind that should a, a complementarity between the two organizations should be in place.